Hello art students, this is Mrs. Brand here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a web-based editing program called Pixlr to change a photo and make it more abstract and also use a filter called Posterize. The first thing you want to do is go to the website pixlr.com slash x and this will take you to the online photo editor. You don't need to log in or click any of the options at the top. Instead, you're going to click where it says open image. In order to uh, have an image to open, you need to make sure that you have one on your Chromebook. I have an image that I emailed to myself of my grandmother, and that is the image that I would like to download and open in Pixlr. So now that I went to my email and I clicked on the download arrow, I can see that it downloaded. And now I can go to open image and navigate to my downloads. And then you can just leave this default setting when you say apply. So I wanna create a painting of my grandmother but I don't want myself to be in the picture. This is me from a long time ago. So the first thing I wanna do is crop it. And I want to use an aspect ratio of one to one square. So this is my crop area, and I'm gonna grab the corner so that I can get as much of my grandmother in the frame as possible. and then I'll say apply over here on the left. Now I need to change some of the um, adjustments for the tone of the image. So I'm gonna click on this little button right here on the left that says adjustment. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn this black and white. This image will be reproduced with a series of values of a color. So I wanna start with black and white so that I have fewer values that will come up when we posterize it. It looks a little dark, so the next thing I want to do is scroll down to my brightness and turn that up. And then I want to increase the contrast. If I increase the contrast and make it a little bit brighter, my posterizing filter will work better. So I'll try this. I'll say apply. And then the next button below adjustment is filter. And if I scroll down a little bit, I'll see one that's called posterize. And we wanna posterize this at four different levels. So I'm gonna move it until it says four. What this shows me are four different values that make up this whole image of my grandmother. I can move it up to five and see how it looks. And I think I like that a little bit better, but you don't wanna go any higher than five because five represents the number of colors of paint or oil pastel or values that I wanna create from my artistic medium, which I think for mine might be paint or oil pastel. So I'm going to apply this. And because this is a free program, you'll see that advertisements continue to pop up. So you can just X those out when you see them. And now I think I'm ready to share this for printing. So I can say save, and I want to rename it, and I'll change my quality to 100 and keep it at high. It's fine for it to be a JPEG, and now I will say download. The next thing I want to do is email this image that I just created to the teacher so that it can be printed. So I'll type the teacher email. And then I'll, and I'll click on the paperclip icon to attach a file. And then I'll navigate to the file that I just saved. and then I can send it. And those are the steps that you'll need to take an image of a person or an object 
and posterize it for our next project. All right, thanks for watching.